Javier Cavada is Chief Executive of Highview Power, which is developing an energy system designed to solve the problem of storing surplus renewable energy, meaning energy grids in the future could be powered entirely by renewables. In a highly renewable grid, more than 50% of the times, the renewable power that is generated is not being utilized because the demand and the generation is not happening at the same time. Yeah. So 50% is wasted? More than 50%, that's what is being declared. Surplus renewable energy is used to compress air. It's then also used to cool that air. In this case, to minus 196 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, air becomes a liquid, which can then be stored in the equivalent of giant thermos flasks. When environmental heat from normal air is added, the liquid air heats up and expands, returning to its gaseous state. It's this rapid expansion from liquid to gas that creates the pressure to drive electricity generating turbines. I've come to Birmingham University to visit the Birmingham Centre for Energy Storage, and it's where the idea for this technology began. Okay, this is a, the whole lab scale system to demonstrate how liquid air is expanded drive a turbine and produce electricity. Okay, so, so you've got your liquid nitrogen there? Yeah, to simulate liquid air. Okay. And uh, pumped up using the pressure itself. Being heated up, we use water to simulate the ambient heat. And uh, then this will drive a turbine. So the magic is in seeing this turbine spin? Yes, and that will drive a generator producing electricity. And you can see the digits changes, so the yeah. So you can see that that's producing electricity. Highview Power has built a plant in Manchester that shows that this is possible on a larger scale. So we're hoping to build on a commercial scale our first project in the UK towards the end of this year. Once we build our first, we believe that's going to attract a lot of global interest because we do think it is a global application. Um, and that will really spur um, the development of further, further projects. Using the cheapest fuel around, which is what we breathe, and we're converting it into something which I think is going to be very useful, namely translating the benefits of renewable energy 24-7 right across the day.